Welcome to my first official travel vlog. In today's video, I am going to be taking you with me and my family on our most recent vacation with Royal Caribbean on Adventure of the Seas into all of the ports at Bermuda, all the little nooks and crannies, and the adventures that we got to have while we were there. I tried to film like overall clips that I thought would be aesthetically pleasing, but also would give you a sense of what we were doing. And then at the end of each day, I kind of do like a debrief of what we did for the day, what we really loved, what we enjoyed. I think this has been the most intensely edited video that I have on my channel because of all of the pieces. So shout out to those of you who do vlogs on a regular basis. It is a ton of work to put these clips together. We are going to be starting out at home pre-vacation because, well, you'll see, but essentially we had to do COVID tests 72 hours prior to going. So I kind of jump right in with the tests and the process and honestly, I thought it was great. We had Royal Caribbean, we paid for them to send us tests, one for every member of our traveling party. And then on the box, it walks you through the apps that you need to download. And then you are connected to a real live person as you take the test from home. I don't know if this will continue considering the recent news that the CDC has put out regarding COVID, but if you are traveling soon and taking a COVID test is required of your trip, I think probably regardless of any ship or cruise line that you pick, this is a really simple process rather than waiting until you get to the port to test. I didn't want to chance it. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. This is the only time you'll see me like this. The rest of these will be clips from our wonderful vacation, and I hope you enjoy. So the way this worked was you had to download, based on QR codes on the eMed test boxes, two different apps, Navica, and then you scanned one and it went to the Abbott system. Download the Navica app first, and complete your information. And if you have any minors on board with you, like we obviously had Callie, I put her on my account. Then when you're ready to take the test, you do the bigger QR code on the box and that will actually like hook you up to a camera and a medical professional and they walk you through the steps, they watch you do the swab and then they help you interpret your results, which are pretty clear at the end. So we just finished, we are all negative, which means we are clear to sail. I'm finding out just how much storage my car has because we have these three big bags in here, you know are for the cruise, my toiletry bag, and there's always like one thing that I can't fit. Yes, this is a mess of contacts. And then this is a cooler, it has four bottles of wine in it for the cruise. Callie's day bag for tomorrow. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to lift it. There's another bag. That's a New York bag. The back seat has Callie's activity bag. I didn't show you those. My, I'm actually borrowing them from my sister. They are like little pillows on one side and tabletops on the other. So Callie can put things on her lap. Mark's New York luggage, a little stony clover neck pillow and a juice for Callie. Mark bought this for Callie. I don't think he knows that this is like Barbie-ish, but it's oceany. She'll love it. And then I also have her little toy bin in here to keep her occupied. So much construction going on in this neighborhood. This is one of my favorite parts of the car. It's called the Frunk, if you didn't see my Tesla video. This is my overnight bag. Mark's overnight bag is also in here, and Callie's New York. So everything is packed. We managed to fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 bags in this car. And yep, we have 11 bags to go with us. Coming to you from New Jersey and quietly because Callie is asleep right across that wall. We are currently in New Jersey. We embark tomorrow and the cruise port is only like 15 minutes from here. So instead of driving four to five hours, in the morning, we thought we would do it the night before. I have a little intruder. One moment, please. That was very sweet. She was returning a pillow because she thought that we wouldn't have enough. That was so cute. Anyway, 
Today's plan was that I met Mark and Callie in Providence. They took the train from where Mark works into Providence, Rhode Island. I met them and then we drove here, which took us about four hours. We did stop to charge the car twice, though two times was unnecessary. I don't know if you can hear that, but our hotel is very close to the airport. Um, it took like 10 minutes for the car to charge total. The first time we stopped to like stretch our legs, go to the bathroom, clean the car out. It had like, you know, from the snack bag, trash things. And the second time we stopped was for dinner. And that was like more than enough. I was worried about that and it was so easy and fast. Callie was also a A plus traveler today. She was just happy. She played with her toy box, the little like figurines that we brought her. She loved her LCD tablet so much. She played with that the most for literal hours. The little surprise adorable that she opened. She got Daisy, by the way, and she's currently sleeping with Daisy. She just like entertained herself. We listened to Harry Potter. We listened to some Hawaii Aulani music, and then we listened to Rent as we were coming into the city because she loves music from Rent. She's a true Broadway kid. So it was just a really fun travel day, and I say that with gratitude and appreciation because travel days with kids can be super hard whether you're driving for like three to five hours or flying for 12 it can be rough so mark and i oh there's a plane it looks so much farther away on screen so mark just went downstairs we're gonna get ourselves some glasses of rosé or champagne to celebrate a successful travel day, maybe grab a little midnight 8 p.m. snack, and then we're gonna take showers and go to bed, and I'm gonna figure out how to get to the gym so I can go first thing in the morning. See you tomorrow. It's embarkation day. It is 9.47 a.m. We are leaving the hotel which we stayed at overnight. Kelly slept great. Correct. And now we're we're headed to the planes. They're much louder outside than they are inside. Um, I think everybody slept pretty well. We're very excited. Time to go. Plus 14, plus 14, plus 14, plus 14. There she is. Somebody is excited!
really uh, lackluster vlogging so far. I do have some clips that you'll probably have seen, but it is now time to get ready for formal night. So today was our first day at sea. Yesterday was embarkation day and we slept well. The boat we could feel moving, but it wasn't like rocking, if that makes sense to those of you who are prone to getting seasick or carsick. We didn't have any issues. Um, and then this morning we got up, we had breakfast, we went out to the pool and we just kind of hung out. I did some things that I would never have done pre-weight loss surgery. I think I'm gonna do an entirely separate video all about what those things are. Um, but we swam, we did the hot tub, Callie played in a ring toss game, she did a scavenger hunt with Mark, we had lunch, and then we went to the salon and got our hair done for formal night. So now I'm gonna do my makeup. I will hopefully have clips or at least pictures to show you of what our formal night dresses look like. And then tomorrow is our first day in Bermuda which I'm very excited about, so stay tuned. I thought I might show you my outfit of the evening. I have not put on my shoes yet, but I'll be wearing my trusty Jack Rogers. This is an interesting angle. We're a trio now, the three of Chelsea. The story of this dress is that Mark gave me a gift certificate to Nordstrom, a gift card, one Christmas that felt very special because it was when we didn't have a lot of money and Nordstrom was always like a reach store for me because they didn't often carry sizes that I could wear. So we were going to a friend's wedding and I got a gift card for Christmas. So I went to Nordstrom feeling like stealing myself for the idea that I would possibly leave with that full gift card because there wasn't gonna be anything for me. And Mark said that the gift card was for a dress, not my typical go-to accessories. And friends who have ever been overweight or self-conscious about their bodies know that our favorite things to buy are accessories, sunglasses, bags, shoes, because they always fit. Am I alone? or makeup, skincare. That's kind of how I got into it. Anywho, I found this dress. This dress is a size 16 and I loved it. I wore it to a wedding. I love the movement of this skirt. I love the maxi length. I love the colors in the print. I felt really pretty the night that I wore this for the first time. So I kept it. It's been in my wardrobe since that wedding and then recently I just had it tailored. So it went from a 16 to a six. So this dress has quite the past. It carries a bit of emotional baggage, um, but now all in good ways. So I'm really ha glad that I had it tailored. Um, I love the colors so they wrap all the way around and my clutch this evening picks up this like orange in the dress. So just reminiscing, but happy to be in it. I did my makeup. These are not my eyelashes, but my friend Ashley's who is here with us has eyelash extensions and oh boy, does that give me like straight up FOMO. I love eyelash extensions, but they always make my eyelashes fall out. So I have on my Glamnetic Magnetic Strips with a little bit of gold coppery glitter behind there. And that's kind of it. There's nothing fancy going on. I do need to put on my lipstick. I'm gonna be wearing Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk with a bit of gloss on top, and I might do one more shot of hairspray. I know, curly girl journey, but I did get a Kerastase treatment. I got a head massage, I got an eye mask. It was a full self-care moment, and then I won't need to wash my hair, obviously. Like, tonight, tomorrow, we're going to Bermuda. There is heat protectant in it should I wanna add more heat to it, but probably won't I'll most likely just put it up in a clip or use my hat or my sunglasses as like shellac my hair out of my face because we have adventures planned for tomorrow okay let's finish up so we can go to fancy dins I put pillow talk on 
I have these little Charlotte Tilbury minis and it's very neutral. I was afraid that this was gonna be too much with the eyelashes, but then I put on my Jaclyn Hill gloss and I wore this recently in a video. This one's called Candy Drip. I kind of like the bright. We'll wear it around and see how we feel. What do you think? Is this supposed to look like Stella Lou? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to get her so that we can see the difference? Yeah. <laughs> Were they next to each other when you came in last night? That's so cute. So organic. Look, how about this part? The kids are going to run back home. They're going to tell their parents of their discovery. And then the next day, the boy's father will decide that they're going to lower their selves down as well. So when the fathers come down the next day, they start to explore the cave here. To find out the cave actually, the crystal cave today, and everything else in Bermuda today. <laughs> you know, all of this took place in 1908. And then in 1909, this cave. Got home to this little towel guy on the remote. How cute is he? Look at his little flies. Oh, he's cute. So we are home back on the cruise ship from our first day in Bermuda. And ooh, I'm not sure I have ever been so toasty. It was like not hot, but extremely humid. Um, the way that Bermuda is shaped means that transport on the island itself is actually pretty challenging. So we took a ferry from where 
the cruise boat is to Hamilton, which is like the main city. And the buildings are so beautiful there. Like the architecture, the colors of the buildings are so pretty. So we did a little bit of shopping. We obviously had to go into Vineyard Vines. That's well documented. And strangely enough, Mark, Callie, and I all had on Vineyard Vines today. Mine was literally exclusively Vineyard Vines, like this beach cover up, my beach bag, my flip flops, everything was Vineyard Vines. So when we walked in, we got very special attention for being that family, which I'm not sure is a good thing. Um, anyway, from there, we kind of walked like the main strip. We found a <clears throat> an authentic British pub because Bermuda is British ruled so we found like it was a very pretty pink corally building and then you go inside and it feels like you are in a Manchester version of Harry Potter and we had appetizers and Mark had his first rum swizzle there which he really liked and then because rum is like his thing from there we took a taxi which was strange because in Bermuda they drive not only is the steering wheel on the other side but they drive on the other side of the road so we took like a 20 minute taxi to where the crystal no yes to where the crystal caves are and the original swizzle inn which was like the inventor of the rum swizzle so we got ice cream for callie because she was kind of overheating we walked down to the crystal caves had an incredible tour um, i am sure there'll be footage of that as well it was so cool and stay tuned on instagram there'll be many pictures to come in every nook and cranny i was like callie can you take my picture family strangers can you take a picture of our family and then from there we went to the swizzle inn for mark to have a rum swizzle super cool inside like it's not decor i mean i guess it technically is but it's like dollar bills that you would sign and business cards like ceiling walls absolutely everywhere it's very fun and there was a soccer game on which is obviously called football here and the team that they were rooting for was chelsea so like they kept yelling like yeah Chelsea!" and i'm like you're welcome you're welcome rum swizzle in and then from there we made a grave mistake we took a very cute blush pink bus from where we were back into hamilton what do you know about callie i'll wait yeah she gets car sick and when the roads are this wide and the bus is driving 90 miles an hour around a mountainous ridge Good thing we had a plastic bag because she did in fact throw up on the bus ride back but once she threw up and had some water she was a whole new kid so she was down and out for like 30 seconds during the actual act of getting sick and then was totally fine after i on the other hand was not um i only i didn't get to the part where you get sick i simply just felt nauseous for legitimate hours and i feel like it took energy out of the rest of my day do you know that feeling so it's not wasn't necessarily like a damper on the day because from from there we went back to do some shopping on main street i got mark a present hi oh you got desserts yeah because yeah. the ice cream wasn't oh. oh look at the towel guy you know what you should do go okay. callie just got home she saw the towel for the first time and then we took a ferry back to Hamilton, I'm sorry, back to the cruise port. She's thanking our room attendant for the towel. I already said and had dinner and dinner was great. So we're now back on the ship and Callie wanted ice cream, which apparently the machine wasn't working. Just closed. Just closed, okay. And then I see, what did you get instead? Chocolate cake and a kiwi? And some Caesar salad. And some Caesar salad. That's. How did he find the remote? I don't know, but maybe he knew you were looking for it. <laughs> and now we're back on the boat. It's 6:54. We are. How? How did? What? What animal is that? What animal do you think it is? I don't know. It looks Cat? like either a tall pig. Come over here. I saw his little face. I don't think it's a cat. Yeah. But the ears make me think it's a tall pig or like a cow. Yeah, it's a pig. Okay, we're deciding it's a pig. Whatever you think it is, 
leave it in the comments below, especially if you are good at towel creation. And I think one of the coolest parts about being here overnight is one, the boat won't we won't be moving, but then also we're gonna get to see like the lights of Hamilton, like the city lights in the distance, and I think that's really neat. We were scheduled to go on a sunset pirate rum swizzle cruise this evening, and everybody in the party opted out due to at some point we all felt either seasick, two people in our party went snorkeling today on a catamaran and the waves were bigger than anticipated, car sick, rum swizzled, so we opted out and had dinner on land instead. That was great. And that's all for today. We're probably gonna shower. I would love to say that we're gonna do something later, but realistically, probably room service or champagne on the balcony. I heard that. Cape Cod Winery comes everywhere with us, apparently. And I bought these. They apparently pair with very specific wine. I've never seen them before. Sorry, my camera's lens is foggy because it's humid out here. And they get a Batchmaster signature. Excited about this little setup. This was the boat we were supposed to be on. It's looking a bit rough out there. Really enjoying our wine and potato chips. Hi! Full party boat. Instagram, you're gonna see photos of me that don't look so windswept. But we just got home, back on board um, from our second day in Bermuda. This is as good as we're getting, I think. There is mascara like under my eyes. I didn't intend to get my face wet today at Horseshoe Bay Beach, which is one of apparently according to like travel magazine is the third most beautiful beach in the world and i totally see why the ocean is crystal clear the sand is pink there's like caves it's absolutely incredible um and we rented chairs and kind of like dragged them down the beach because there are two cruise ships in bermuda right now there's obviously ours and then the norwegian one came in today at like 10 30 so they could get to the beach by noon because one of the downsides of Bermuda is that you kind of have to take some form of transportation everywhere. Like you have to take a taxi. You heard about yesterday's incident. You'll be happy to know that Callie was able to take a minibus both directions today um, without any incident. And tip if you're coming here and you're coming on a cruise, there are excursions from ships that will take you to Horseshoe Bay Beach and they're like $40 a person and you only get to be there for three hours. Once you get out of like the port area, there are minibuses for $7 a person. So that's what we did and it cost us like 
$48. No, that's that math isn't right. $42. This is why I'm an English teacher. Cost us $42 for the day rather than like 120 plus um, tax and all the things. So we did that and you get to stay as long as you want. So then we rented beach chairs. That does cost you 10 bucks a person or 10 bucks a chair. We did two. So Callie realistically like doesn't sit in a beach chair, right? Like that's not something she's gonna do. And when she did, she sat with me. We explored caves. We did bring our own tubes, our own floats, which I was really proud of. Like, that's a proud mom moment to like get them in advance. They were $4 at Ocean State Job Lot. Pack them and blow them up and bring them here. And then we give them to a lovely family on our way out. So we were wearing them and they were children's tubes because I could not fully get it over my whole body. Like I had to go over the top. I couldn't get it over my bum. That's fine. It's meant for six year olds. I'm not offended by that. And Callie and I got the waves here were huge so I lost my pair of Ray-Bans like I thought they would float up onto the beach nope the ocean ate them and they belong to Ariel now um, speaking of Ariel I took some photos on a craggy cave rock fully like ah, propped up I thought that was Callie was it Callie? sneaky little doodles fully propped up singing like my King Triton heart out. So those will be on Instagram too. This is, everyone was doing this though. Like this was women supporting women as we were like, get the angles, get on the ground. I was like in sand up to my tummy, kneeling in the ocean, taking pictures of my cousin who is beautiful by the way. So I am sure I'll be featured in her Instagram stories and Instagram posts. I didn't do as good of a job with sunscreen as I wanted to today. Oh, this side might be worse. Oh yeah, okay, okay. But that's fine. That's totally fine. I did SPF like 30 and 50 multiple times, but we were in the direct sun and it was glorious. Today is by far my favorite cruise day. Anytime we get to go to a new, beautiful, pristine beach, where did I mention that the sand is pink? And it's pink, we learned, because it's really made up of like coral reef bits and crushed shells. So there aren't gonna be any whole shells like we would have at home on the beach. They're all crushed and then they make the sand look pink. And that's just magical. Also the sand never gets hot and it's so clean. I just, I understand why the beach is ranked that way. So we're gonna take showers, probably drink a ton of water get a little rest in and then Mark and I have a date night tonight. My cousin Ashley will be here with doodles and we're gonna go to dinner and then see what kind of fun we can have. But yeah, that is, that's what's happened today. Thanks for being here for the recap. Oh, Kelly also got stung by a jellyfish. A moon jelly. So it wasn't like the end of the world and the lifeguard did thankfully have white vinegar. And then once he sprayed it on her, she was like, back in the water like totally fine um but something to watch out for apparently it is portuguese man of war season here in bermuda in june so they're deep purple they do float on top of the water but they have really long tentacles and those ones hurt those ones are really painful we have them um on the cape as well in august um, so that's just something to be wary of if you are planning travel here. June may not be the best time if that's the beach you want to go to. There are lots of gorgeous beaches here, but like that's the one, that's the one, right? That's the one that's like definitely the most touristy and for good reason, because we're never going to have that kind of a beach day at home. It was just a magical day, despite the jellyfish thing. Totally fine. Magical. little frog tonight. I rub him. You rub it him. That makes no sense. <laughs> Good morning from our final full day here on Adventure of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. I have woken up, adjusted to the one hour time change because I woke up in a panic, forgetting that there is a time difference between New York Eastern Standard Time, which is what I'm used to, and Bermuda. It's only one hour, but I had an 8 a.m. facial and massage. So I like 
woke up and my phone hadn't switched over because I'm not on Wi-Fi here because there is no Wi-Fi out in the middle of the ocean, which you are hopefully hearing in the background. I'm trying to avoid my like super messy room. Um, so I had a lovely, oh, we're getting too foggy out here. I'm just gonna apologize for the mess. This is like day five in on the boat. You're seeing what it actually looks like. I did just do a bit of a tidy up uh, because I am waiting for room service for my breakfast. I'm in a new bathing suit to spend the day at the pool. Today is Callie's Yes Day. So after my glorious Elemis product based facial, anti-aging facial, my skin feels so like supple right now. And a massage that was amazing but definitely not relaxing. She was working on all of the lactic acid buildup in my shoulders and I am legitimately sore already. So I've been drinking water, I'm gonna put some SPF on, and then I think I'm gonna head down to the pool to meet my family after my brekkie comes. But our plan today for Callie's Yes Day, if you don't know what that is, it's basically where your child, oh, there's an announcement happening, gets to make the decisions of the day. So like, can I eat ice cream for lunch? Yes. Can we go mini golfing? Yes. You want to ride the big twirly blue slide a thousand times? Yes. Today is her day. So she immediately woke up this morning, hopped in my bed and said, it's yes day. Happy yes day. So I'm hoping this is a day of joy for everybody and we'll see what kind of things she comes up with. I am gonna go do a little bit more tidying. I put all of our dirty clothes into Callie's suitcase and I will use my suitcase for all the clothes we didn't wear because as you might have guessed, I did overpack, but not excessively. So I'm trying to sort out now what clothes are we taking into New York with us and what clothes are just like clean and are ready to go home and be unpacked and put away. So that's the day so far. Thanks for being here. Enjoy this little monkey guy, and we'll see you later. It's the very last night of our vacation. I'm in the bathroom because Cal is asleep. Mark is out at the casino. And I'm going to take the tub where one of the I hope you can hear me. Let's get the bath. Put some oils and some body wash in there to make some bubbles. And I keep getting my butt. And relax. For the last night before we disembark. Very early in the morning. But one of our perks as a sleep member is that we get to have like a formal sit down breakfast in the morning and we get to disembark first. So our part two leg of New York begins bright and early in the morning. Overall, this has been such a nice five days. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along to the meeting with us. The boat is quite moody this evening, um, but I think I can just do it right now. And stay tuned for future fruits videos. We'll have more coming your way.